Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will look at the process to record GST purchases with TCS in Tally Prime. In Tally Prime, you can record TCS on purchases by using the TCS ledger grouped under current assets. To ensure the TCS amounts paid on purchases do not reflect in your TCS returns, you need to select the type of duty tax as others. To create the TCS ledger under current assets, go to create and ledger. In the ledger creation screen, enter the name of the ledger. Select current assets in the under field. Press F12 and set the option set ledgers to behave as duties and taxes to yes. Press Ctrl A to accept. Set the option behave as duties and taxes ledger to yes. Select others as the type of duty tax. Set the option appropriate tax values in purchase invoice as per your need. In case you want to add tax amount to purchase cost, set this option to yes. Else, set it to no. In case the value is appropriated, the tax amount is not displayed separately in the balance sheet. Enter the tax rate and percentage of calculation based on your requirement. When you set the tax rate, Tally Prime will consider only the purchase amount excluding GST to calculate tax. If you want to include GST value also to calculate tax, you have to leave this field blank and enter the tax value manually in the purchase invoice. Save the ledger. You can create the GST duty ledgers with appropriate tax types. Also, the purchase ledger with GST details. Let us record the purchase invoice. Go to Vouchers, click F9 for Purchase. Select the party name. Select the purchase ledger. Select the items you are purchasing. Select the GST ledgers. GST is automatically calculated and displayed. Now select the TCS ledger. Save the voucher. The TCS amount paid on purchases does not reflect in TCS returns. Tally Prime allows you to account for the TCS duty paid to your seller. Thank you. For more information, visit help.tallysolutions.com.